Hey guys, what's up? Fasangul here from tutorialab.net and welcome to another exciting tutorial of our course Google Tools. So in this tutorial or in this section of the entire course, we will be covering Google Cloud. How to work with Google Cloud. In inside Google Cloud section, we will cover three or four parts. In the first part, we will create an empty instance or a server and then we will install uh, Apache and then we will install MySQL database uh, after that we will install PHP and PHP MyAdmin okay guys so uh, let's start our tutorial so in this first video of the tutorial we will be creating an empty instance and uh, after that we will do the rest of the sp uh, steps so let's dive into the computer So let's start first of all open your browser I prefer Chrome so I will use that and go to cloud.google.com I have already created an account here so at the top right corner you can see console click on that so when you see, you see a screen like this select a menu at the left side and select compute engine i have already created some instances here and in this tutorial we are going to create new instance so i will show you how you can select new instance for a new domain so at the top click on create instance Here is the name of the instance, so I will name it according to my domain. After that you can see the zone, from here we can select our server location. I am going to create server inside Europe, so I will select that area. If you are going to use Asia specific area, so select that and the server speed will be very good in that area and so this is our zone for the server and below we have machine type so for now I need one CPU with 3.7 GB memory and we can customize that by clicking on customize and from here we can select cores and memory we can increase or decrease that I'll decrease this later on too so I for now I I will select one virtual CPU and with 3.75 gigabyte RAM so click on basic view and you can also select CPUs from here from here we can select multiple type of boot disk and you can see we have operating system types here the current operating operating system is Debian and when I click on change new window will pop up and from here we can select different operating system as you can see we have a list of different operating system so we can select from here you can select Windows or any other type of server so I prefer Debian for right now for now so I will select that and also you can control the size of the server or hard disk from here you can see we have standard persistent disk and when I select SSD SSD is a bit faster than standard persistent disk so I will select SSD for the fast speed so I will select that and also it will cost you a bit more and in the size insert the size of your hard drive so for now 10 gb is efficient from here we can select service account and you can see uh, that your on service account is selected you can manage this from inside your cloud menu so I will not go into that part and when you are going to create an account 
this section come in that part so server service account is already been created i'll select the already been created and we will and we don't need any new server account service account and below that we have access scope so i will leave as a default allow default access below that we have firewall so what type of traffic we can allow to our website we can accept http or https or we can also accept both of them so i will select both of them allow http and https traffic to our virtual machine from here we can manage disk and also we can insert ssh keys and also we can select network and other sort of things but i will leave as a default for now and later on i will create an ssh key and will show you how you can create ssh key for a server okay guys so i have already generated a new key for our cloud instance so i will paste it here and when you paste it it will automatically select the username so now our server is ready to create you need to click on create button so click on create now you will see that our server is in creating process a small icon will appear here you can see it's in process so wait for that to become a green like this one after creating the server or instance the cloud will give us an ip through which we can access our server directly you can see this is our ip so click on this the server will not respond right now because it's not ready for website right now we need to install apache and uh, mysql database and php inside our server and, and make it ready to become a web server and host our website okay guys so this is the method through which we can create cloud instance inside google cloud stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button see you in the next video bye bye